And the Durham Public School Board of Education going to be voting today on whether they'll continue requiring masks for students and staff. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway is live in Durham this morning with what other COVID related issues they're going to talk about in that meeting. Joseph? Bill, Randy, the board meets at 6.30 tonight to make that call, and this is affecting dozens of schools throughout the district, including right here at Pearsontown Elementary, and as you can imagine, thousands of students across the district. Each school board statewide is required to vote monthly on whether masks are needed in school buildings, and we've noticed that most districts are keeping that requirement in place for now, including Wake and Johnston counties. Masks have been required here in Durham going all the way back to last year. The board will also reevaluate its COVID-19 protocols in today's meeting. Among those protocols already in place, students and staff are required to practice social distancing, and the district says parents and other visitors are not allowed in the classrooms. The board will also vote on raising wages for bus drivers across the district. Coming up here in about 30 minutes, we're going to hear more about why they're doing this. For now, we're live in Durham. Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.